game. <laughs> y'all doing it's big john and welcome back to another episode of it's all in the game so tonight's video is going to be a little bit more philosophical in nature but one of the more important videos that i've shot so please please listen i promise i will not be long-winded all right so i originally started on this train of thought in relationship to the drug war okay how for the last 30 to 40 years, our government has waged war against people who use substances. You know, they call it the drug war, but you can't fight a war against a substance. So what that war has been is taking people, taking marginalized people, people from poor communities, really primarily people of color, and incarcerating those people in this system that really just utilizes them for the profit of the elites that really own this system. Because the more I started thinking about this, like I said, it started within the context of the drug war, right? But really, when you think about this, at the same time this drug war was ramping up in the 70s and 80s, that's the same time this whole tough on crime legislation was ramping up. Now this is not a coincidence, because this is also the same time that we started seeing an increase in the number of prisons being built around the country. If you look around the whole country, the 1980s, there was a huge boom in construction for state prisons, all right? Like, whereas prior to that, in the 60s and 70s, most states would have one or two, maybe three penitentiaries. By the time the 1990s roll around, we're talking about states having 30, 40, 50 penitentiaries. That's no exaggeration, okay? So this tough on crime stuff that was happening in the 70s and the 80s, early 90s, was really a big push towards booms in incarceration. At the same time, private prison industries started popping up. So these are for-profit industries that build prisons, and then they sign a contract with the state that says, we're going to provide you with this prison, you provide us with the prisoners. And they generally have a number that they have to hit. The state promises to keep those prisons full. Now, I don't know how you can do that. I don't know how you can predict that there will be enough crime guaranteed to keep those prisons full unless you know that the way you're writing your laws it is inevitable that crimes are going to be committed. That's the only way that you can guarantee that that's going to happen, okay? So today, what's happening is we have private prisons. We have these corporations that come in and do the video visitations in the jail, and they run the phones. These corporations come in and do the canteens for the jail and for the prisons. They have these kitchen companies that come in and they cook the meals for the jails and for the prisons, right? They have all these different profiteering companies that are coming in and making huge amounts of money off the people who can't pay their bail, off other people who be, are being incarcerated for crimes like drug crimes and lower severity felonies and stuff like that, all right? Now that's happening all over our country. It isn't just a drug war thing though, people. It's a class thing, all right? And we have to realize what the, what the point of my video is and what the purpose of what I'm telling you is here. We have to recognize that we are all on one fucking team, y'all. It don't matter what car you ride in. It don't matter what gang you're in. It don't matter if you're a dope dealer or a dope user. It don't matter if you smoke it or if you grow weed. It don't matter what you know side of the street you're on. We're all on the same side of the street, y'all, because when it comes down to it, they look at us as a person to fill those beds, as a person who can sleep in that rack at night keep those private prison industries rolling. Yo, we are all on the same team. We are all on the same side. And we need to start thinking like that. We need to start thinking more united and getting together, all right, and organizing a little bit instead of just hating each other and killing each other and talking all kinds of shit, y'all, all right? We are all on the same team, y'all. Much love, all right? Big John told you so. It's all in the fucking game. Oh, yeah. Like and subscribe to the video.